In our last video, I showed you how to make the salt dough. So here it is in the Ziploc. I have a little bit of extra flour to put on my work surface, a butter knife, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. You're gonna use those to help you make the details of your animal. So I'm gonna take out a little piece of my salt dough. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to make an animal. One is by doing like a relief so that you can just sort of see it from one side. And then I'll also do like a 3D sculpture. So let's say your animal is a penguin. So you're gonna to wanna to take it, put it in your hand, sort of make the shape of the penguin. It's a good idea that if, um, when your child is doing this, that they look at an animal, they look at the animal that they wanna make. So my, um, I'm just right now using my hands to shape it. It's a good idea to also have your work surface have flour on it just in case your child puts it down. That really does help it not stick to their hands so much or to your countertop. So I made sort of like a coil or a snake or whatever. Um, so I like to use either a pencil for details or I like to use a um, butter knife. So let's say you want to do the penguin's beak. You can do two eyes and a beak. You can do, this part's a little bit tricky, you know, cause you're drawing on the clay. So it's a little hard to do for a kid, but you just sort of have to keep dragging it along. So let's say I've made the penguin's head, I've made the penguin's body, and now you want to add flippers and feet. So you'll just take off a little piece. And there's many ways to make a penguin, right? Um, so you can just attach one, attach another one. And also if you want your beak to stick out, you can do that too. Um, you may need a little bit of water sometimes to attach it. That's a good way to do it, if, especially if your um, salt dough is a little bit is a little bit dried out. Mine's nice and fresh because I just made it yesterday, but um, if yours is a little dried out, a good way to make it stick is by um, attaching it with a little bit of water. Okay, so right now my penguin can't stand up, but what you'll do is once it is all attached, you'll want to sort of squish it down, right? So it stands up. So it might end up squishing down more than you want. So what I would do is maybe flatten it like this a little bit, but then when you cook it or when you let it dry, um, <laughs> oh goodness, he got, he got a little round. Um, you can cook it or let it dry in the sun but it's um, flat like this. But then if you, if you make it flat before you lay it down, you'll be able to stand it back up once it's dry. So that is one way to make a penguin or a 3D animal, an animal that stands up, up and is a sculpture that you can see from all sides.